All right, long time no see, everyone. I now have a microphone on me, as you can tell. This is going to help me deal with, well, this is going to make it so you do not have to see here my yapping sister in the background and her amazing singing all the time, which I just love to hear and I'm hearing right now. Hopefully you guys don't hear it. I pray, please don't. I hope you guys don't hear her. But she's a great singer, whatever. Um, but yeah, trying the new wireless uh, microphone here. Um, I've had it for a while now. Um, and we're back at it uh, for another video. Today is gonna be a leg day. Wow, exciting. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to cook my first meal. I'm going to show you guys another meal that I like that I've also, also recently have been cooking. So let's get into it. I'm going to cook this meal up and then I'm going to show you what it looks like for the first meal. And then we're going to get ready to go hit legs. Onion and a knife. Up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just enough. I usually get about two meals with one onion. I use quite a bit. I like the taste of it. Now we are going to do the tomato. smaller Let's see if we can get this all on the plate there I don't know not all of it that's all right good enough so this is what the chicken looks like just some chicken thigh a couple pieces ripped it with my hands um, if I was cutting it it'd probably be a bit easier but I hate ripping this stuff the beef is a little bit easier to rip if you see me make the carne asada. But this is be my first meal. We got chicken thigh already marinated. I buy it from the Mexican market near my house. And now we are going to cook this son of a bitch and um, enjoy it. So I like to cook it low heat, a little bit of uh, olive oil, four to five minutes each side. And then we're going to throw the veggies in as well at the end and mix it up and then it should be good to go. All right, so we got my pan set up here. About four to warm it up a bit quicker. Uh, tablespoon of olive oil, 140 calories. It's not a lot we're cutting, but keep in mind, there's no rice or anything. So yeah, chicken thigh, bit more fat, olive oil, bit more fat and calories. But that's okay. We're not doing rice. We're not doing any tortillas. We're just doing the chicken thigh, olive oil, and the veggies. So let's get this chicken in here. Let's turn it down lower. About right there. We don't want to smoke the whole fucking house up. You know what I mean? Yeah, so now it's cooking chicken and make sure it doesn't really stick. About three to four minutes. Wants to stick a little bit. Oh, yep, sticking a little bit. That is all we need. Yes, yeah, so we don't want it to stick. So, by no means am I a chef, like I said, but this is the, sec the third time I've been cooking this chicken and 
in my opinion, it's tastier than the beef, the carne asada. Carne asada is amazing, don't get me wrong, but I think maybe it's just a change of flavor with uh, the veggies, because I usually eat the veggies raw. See how it's not sticking now as much at all, really? So that's good. At first, it's going to want to stick a little bit. Just make sure it doesn't, you don't want it stick into the pan, really. This microphone is great because I don't have to hear my sister. Well, you guys don't have to hear her. I still have to hear her. And it makes me want to bash my head against the wall. But nonetheless, quality is now improving. Now we're going to flip them a bit. Chicken, you want to always make sure it's cooked well. Beef, you can get away with. I can cook the beef in like 30 seconds to a minute like really fast and I like it a more medium rare chicken. You're gonna wanna make sure it's cooked all the way, but you don't wanna like overdo it. You know what I mean? You wanna make it just right. We're gonna keep the vegetables over here. So eventually when it's good enough, we'll throw it in there. My opinion, chicken thigh tastes better than chicken breast. A lot of fat on the chicken breasts, and I'm just not. I mean, less fat on the chicken breasts, more fat on the chicken thigh, which in my opinion makes it taste a little bit better. higher to cook the vegetables faster. Get the meat a little bit extra cooked a little bit faster as well. So we can get some of the marination from the chicken and the vegetables mixed in. And it creates a really solid combo. I usually eat my, um, my vegetables raw with my meat. But now, with this chicken, I've been cooking them. And man, let me tell you, it's pretty damn good. I don't know, the hot vegetables mixed in with the marination. It's really good. And don't ask me what I use to marinate it, because I don't marinate it. I got this specifically from the Mexican market. All right, that should be good. Time to eat my meal. Super effective, right? Not that crazy. I cook more often than not around two times a day. Um, and they're very effective, simple meals. It makes me think like, why don't more people buy pre-marinated meat? You know what I mean? Probably wondering why I also like to eat with a spoon. Um, I like to make sure I get all the veggies and I already cut, cut it before I'm eating it, but clearly I didn't do a great job. But yeah, always, um, lately, what the hell am I even talking about? I've been buying my meat, like I said, at the Mexican market, pre-marinated. I don't know why people do ground beef or like ground turkey, like bland ass chicken. I don't understand it, you know? I, I don't know why bodybuilders or the fitness world has not, you know, understood, like has looked into these Me Mexican markets that already have their meat pre-marinated, ready to go. You know, I, I don't know. I guess it's just a me thing, but I like it a lot. I, I don't like ground beef. I also like to do metformin as well, twice a day. Um, keep insulin levels really tight spot, really good spot. Um, helps all with insulin sensitivity. Overall, just re reducing total inflammation in the body. So 
improving insulin uh, sensitivity, reducing total inflammation, um, getting rid of a little bit of uh, extra glucose. Yeah, that's fine by me. That's a plus in my book. I like to worry about metformin lowering IGF-1 levels. Again, this is that's not going to affect building muscle much at all. I believe it lowers systematic IGF-1 levels, which isn't really a good thing to have high all the time. That's how you get cancer. So not only does it reduce, you know, systematic IGF-1, which isn't really you know, that important for building muscle as it is, um, makes you healthier. Reduces, um, I guess, your chances of getting cancer when you're older and, um, Improves total inflammation in the body, which is overall going to help you build more muscle. Even though it's a leg day, um, and I'm not really eating a lot of carbs for this first meal, it's okay. I'll be having my intro wor workout, dextrose as well, and I'll have some fruit beforehand. So even though this meal isn't a boatload of carbs, it's mainly just meat, right, and tomatoes and onions for taste. It's fine. Get the job done. Yeah. This is how I make my chicken. I haven't shown you how I made my beef yet, but that's pretty simple. It's the same way. Key lime. Tastes like I'm drinking like a Sprite or Sierra Mist. Yeah, cut so far has been going really well. Sticking to these tasty meals, and these actually taste really good. Cooking most of my meals, all the whole food, making them for the most part. I had sushi, big sushi cheat meal yesterday. I had three rolls to myself. Incorporating the sparkling water. And also, if you have trouble, like you're young and you haven't cooked yet, and you're like, oh, I don't know how to measure stuff out, or just by measuring spoons, they're really helpful. Measuring cups, measuring spoons. I still need a scale. I haven't been tracking, like weighing my stuff, um, but that's gonna be my next step. And um, yeah, chicken's a lot cheaper. Meat's about twelve fifty a pound, the chicken's about three fifty a pound. I was looking into raw fish like sashimi as well, but um, that seems to bit, be a bit more tricky. I don't think parasites would be really good for games, to be honest. I don't know about you guys, I could eat a boatload of sashimi. Raw fish, just give me some raw fish. No parasites, preferably and a boatload of sriracha, and I'm eating at least 100 grams of protein. I'm probably like 500, 400 calories, if that. Kind of look like Twisty P right now. That's all I've been told. I'm digging it though. People are calling me Unc. Uncle. I actually am an uncle. Been an uncle since I was um, four years old. I'm not lying there. My nephew is, my two nephews are, I believe, three and four years younger than me. My oldest sister is 40. My second oldest sister is 29. My youngest sister is 22, the one you hear back there um, with her glorious singing all the time. It's amazing. She's back there. The one you guys have seen, if you've paid attention to my social media. Sparkling water. That's going to be my new meal I've added in. A meal to show you guys. My pre-workout meal. Then I'll have a little bit of fruit, some strawberries, raspberries, and then I'll have my true workout dextrose for this leg day. TNF told me to include some uh, adductors 
you know, the one where you get on the machine and you squeeze your legs in. Um, the one that all the girls use. Let me tell you, I did that on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. My adductors are still sore as fuck. It was hard even walking around yesterday. We're kind of close to the groin area. And he, you know, encourages to work that area out since most people don't have very developed adductors. And I am now doing that. When I was doing it, I felt like my, um, my, uh, my member, my, um, package was going to flip out the, pop out the side, but that was good. You know, really opening up your legs like that leaves you a little exposed and then closing them like you're crushing someone, like someone's head or watermelon or someone choking someone out with your, with your legs. Uh, that is a position some people like to be in, I assume. Yeah, adductors are sore, um, nonetheless. We're gonna do that in, again as well. Uh, and the uh, sparkling water helps too. Five calories, 10 calories, actually. Yes. All right, now I gotta do the dishes, clean this stuff up here which I really always love. I'm always doing dishes. I used to be a dishwasher in high school. I worked at a Taco Bell and I washed dishes. It's kind of funny. Why, why is there dishes there? Well, they don't serve you dishes, but we cook on them, so I washed a lot of them. I am an expert at it, so washing dishes, no big deal. I actually enjoy it. It's like, it makes me feel productive, accomplished. All right. All right, now, getting ready for the gym. We are going to have two scoops of Wrecked, um, Rainbow Burst, my go-to pre-workout, my favorite. And we're gonna have two and a half scoops of Dextrose. Intra-workout to help with endurance, the pump, to get a little extra carbs in the system since I haven't ate that money that that many um, with my first meal. So charge this camera, rest up about an extra 20 minutes, and then we'll be on our way to crush some legs. All right. Starting with the leg day. Mic'd up. Mic'd up. Haven't been mic'd up in the gym in a while. With the boy Reese. Um, we're gonna start off on some hamstrings. We're gonna do the prone leg curl, one of my favorites. Um, I was advised in my leg days to start off with hamstrings first. That's what I need a bit more work on versus the quads. So we're gonna get into the hamstrings. <laughs> So that was just a warm up on the hamstrings. Lightweight, we'll do one more warm up and then we'll do three sets to destroy the hamstrings. One more warm up set. So I had a big cheat meal yesterday. I had sushi, three rolls, all to myself. That is the only cheat meal I had the entire week. Today is now Saturday. Yes. Keeping clean. Stick it to the diet. The first time in my life, these past few weeks have been really locked in. Has it been hard? No. It's been easy, dude. It's like. I'm still making food that's enjoyable, that's tasty, yes. 
It's clean, it's healthy, it's whole foods. I'm cooking it myself. Maybe it's because I'm cooking it myself, but these meals are still really good. They're still really like, it's not like, oh man, this tastes like shit, I hate this. It's like, this is really good. And then the fruit mixed in with my meals, I'll snack on a little bit. It makes everything so much easier. And I find that when you cook your meals, you're actually cooking them yourself. I don't know what it is, but it just tastes better. It tastes better, yeah. Yeah. Why is that, why is that true? I don't know. <laughs> That's just... All right, first actual set. too light we're gonna do 130 on this next one ah, we'll go to 140 usually when I do hamstrings it's right after quad so the hamstrings will be a little bit I'll be a little bit fatigued but we're starting off on hamstrings so I got a lot of strength here yeah let's get the second one down yeah. This is 160. Yeah. This is gonna be some good weight. I usually don't go this heavy on the blade curl, but we're doing it, so yeah. We're gonna make it count. <laughs> Drop set. So, doing RDLs, I like to do them. If you wanted to, you could just do the leg curl, like the seated leg curl. But I'm doing a mix of the prone and RDLs. I've always been a big fan of RDLs. Even though, you know, you gotta stabilize a bit more, using, you know, more core, forearms, whatever. I'm a big fan of them. I like them. And now, we don't wanna go too heavy on them, and make sure we're feeling a good stretch. So, I think after this, we'll probably go to 70s, 70, 75. Get a good stretch on the hamstrings. That's it for the RDLs. We got three sets done. 
Now we're gonna move on to quads. Yeah. Good pump. But now let's move on to the quadriceps. Right, now we're going to be doing a hack squat. I mean, no, a B squat. One of my favorites here is why I like this one a lot. We just did the leg extension. For three sets, got some good quad action. And now we're going to do some fucking B squats. I haven't done this one in a while. So far, so good. I'd say it's a pretty solid workout. Yeah, V squat is a good one. We've, I've talked about it before, but most people don't even know about it, but I, I like it, I'm a fan. It's challenging, but that's what makes it a good workout, you know? It's not easy, but gets the job done. That's what matters. It doesn't have to be pretty, you just have to get it done. Close together, trying to work those quads. Boy. Good. 
not too crazy on the weight, but I'm fatigued enough during the workout with four plates is gonna be challenging, but it feels good. You just really have to love training legs. That sushi cheap meal yesterday is helping me out, of course, but you just have to really like enjoy the process. And I certainly have, which is why I've gotten some pretty good leg gains. See? Just wearing a shirt. I'm not even wearing shorts, I'm just wearing a shirt. See? All right, next one we're gonna do five plates. Kind of like a drop set, not really. But we're just gonna do a light set, burn it out for the pump. You know it's a good set when you get the sweat dripping in your eyes. It all sucks around here. There's no fucking paper towels. So this is gonna be one legged leg press, but this one I'm gonna try to get as far down, my leg far down as I can to work more of the quad. So can't go too heavy on it. So it'll be a lot harder. I usually don't do it that way but this is what we're gonna do to help fix that and balance in my right quad to make it a little bigger to bring it up. So we're really gonna focus advice from uh, Joel TNF. Try to get your knee down to your stomach. Try to get it just far down. So we're really gonna work on the range of motion here instead of just pushing weight. Boy, man, it doesn't even feel like a normal workout. It doesn't even feel like a pump. It just feels like just not easy to do. It feels like I'm overstretching my fucking, I don't even know. My, I'm gonna go lighter since this isn't kind of range of motion I do all the time. I'm gonna go lighter and see if it helps. So we're just gonna go 145 really focus on really trying to get that leg as far down as I can, make it harder. And let's see how it goes. I'm not really looking forward to it. This workout is kicking my ass. 
but those are the best kind of workouts. On the first set I did of this, I wasn't lifting on my toes. That's the advice uh, TNF gave me, is when you're, push, when you're coming down, you wanna like push, if you have to push off your toes a bit. In the second set, you probably seen when I went lighter, I was doing that. So on the way up, my whole foot wasn't on the machine. It was like, like this and I was pushing with my toes, which allowed me to go a bit deeper. So I really felt it that time. The first one, I didn't really feel it. I couldn't go as low, I had trouble. And I also put my feet closer in the middle instead of out. The first set, my feet were out. And this time I put them a bit closer, which helped. I feel like with emphasizing um, the quad, the part of the quad at least I wanted to hit, helping me get lower versus going a bit wider stance. Narrow stance was a bit easier. We're done with this one. Yeah. Nope. You stuck yeah, right, outfits. I got you, I tricked you. You switch outfits. I put a shirt on. How long you been here? What, have you been hiding in the bathroom, in the locker room, or what? Stretch, I pose. Oh, this is my um, attorney, Michelle. Um, Your what? She handles, she handles all my, um, <laughs> my paperwork. Handles all your TikTok uh, guidelines. My NDAs. Did you come here in a dress? Huh? Did you come here in a dress? No. No? No. Uh, say say hi to my YouTube. Hi. Yeah. This is my trainer. She's training me. She's helping me train legs. We're acquaintances. I told Michelle she's not my friend. She was like, you're not my friend. I was like, okay, that's fine. You're Michelle. I'm Michelle. Yeah. What's Elijah doing? Get Elijah. He's right, look at the small guy. Get the small one right there. The really small guy doing curls, trying to act like he's lifting heavy. All you. The mic is currently not on. <laughs> there we go. She's recording. Hey Dawson, I'm probably gonna edit this, so I'm gonna look at this later. You're being weird. This is um, Elijah, everyone. Everyone knows who the fuck I am. No one knows who he is. He's my hairdresser. <laughs> he feels a good haircut. I am. Used to be better. Okay. We're out of here now. All right, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, guys, I am back. Leg day is finished. So, had a solid leg day. Um, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, enjoyed, you know, meeting Michelle, uh, seeing Elijah a little bit, seeing me, and hearing Reese. You didn't really see him, but you guys did hear him. So yeah, that is the leg day. Um, right after that, 
me and Reese, we went and grabbed Chipotle, steak bowl, double steak, rice, pico, um, hot sauce, lettuce, Chipotle sauce. Um, and then I came back and oh, I also um, posted on my Snapchat, but um, if you want a cutting hack for, or just a hack to get more protein in general, low sodium um, tuna, canned tuna, um, mustard, and Frank's Red Hot. Just soak it, that's what I do. And 38 grams of protein, 160 calories, down the hatch like nothing. So yeah, I, I enjoyed my leg day. Um, I felt like I could have pushed myself a little bit harder, especially when it came to hamstrings. Um, I find that sometimes it's hard to get that that connection with hamstrings. I think you just really have to push them. You really have to push them harder. Um, more intensity, um, control the negative. So next time, um, I'll definitely be pushing my hamstrings harder, but I wanted to push them harder I feel like I could have um, quads are sore I could already feel it the inner lower inner quads are sore so nonetheless I feel like I could have just worked harder all together you know it's a good workout um, but I definitely could have pushed myself a little bit more and then I skipped calves yeah I know <laughs> uh, someone was using the calf machine and I wasn't, he had four plates on there and I wasn't waiting for him. So, looks like calves is probably gonna be tomorrow on the agenda. I'm not really taking any rest days as of late. I've just been going to the gym every day for the most part. Uh, I should probably take them, but again, I just don't really care to. I find that I'm, most of the time I'm recovered, especially in this cut. So after this, um, once I'm done recording, you made it this far, you know, you're a real one. Uh, I'm going to be making carne asada, what I made last time, I think my second video, or my third video, carne asada, tomato, onion, and then I'll top it off with a little bit more fruit and a protein shake. But yeah, that's the day. Um, I had a lot of fun with, with Elijah, uh, Reese, they are really helping me out those two like they're man, they're pretty much a big reason why this is all happening so you know that's I mean even more than I could ask for so I'm really grateful for that shout out to them um, yeah and that's about it um let me know in the comments if you like me being mic'd up if you like these style of videos what else maybe you'd like to see? Um, any improvements? This is the fourth video back, and I am very, you know, ecstatic to be back and posting these videos for you guys. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to throw in there? But yeah, I, I always feel like I could train harder, train more, even doing this for five years you know I'm 24 years old now and I started when I was 18 and I feel like I'm still learning there's still stuff I can improve on there's still more I can do which is why I also don't like taking rest days you know they're mandatory but I'm at that point in my life where I feel like you know every day is a day that cannot be wasted you know every day I could do something every day I can improve every day you know I could learn do something or add something so that's just kind of how I've been living life day by day you know because I cannot waste a single day I cannot waste time time you say time is money but in my opinion time is everything that's one thing that you cannot get back so if you're watching this make sure that you're using your time wisely this doesn't mean that you can't rest and enjoy yourself sometimes, but use it wisely, okay? Bust your ass off. Keep making improvements. Do not bullshit, all right? 
you're looking at someone that bullshitted a lot and that's not time I can get back but what I can do is focus in this present moment that's exactly what you can do as well so let's not waste these days you know besides rest and enjoying ourselves let's have purpose and let's make them count so fourth video back I'm going to continue counting to hold myself accountable there's going to be a lot more but let me know in the comments nonetheless I appreciate you guys thank you for tuning in until next time